Well, good morning. Good afternoon. I'm a day behind and a half. Tired, but that's okay. Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Tuesday, August 23rd, the 21st week of Ordinary Time, and the feast day of St. Rose of Lima, uh, Lima, Peru. She was a member of the Third Order of St. Dominic, uh, and she became very well known for her life of severe penance, uh, as well as her care for the poverty uh, that struck uh, Lima, Peru. Uh, so she really helped with her own private effort, efforts in that. Um, she was born of a noble family um, and then became, of course, a, a lay member of the Dominican Order. She is the first person born in the Americas to be canonized as a saint. And she is the patron saint of, in, of embroidery, gardening, and the cultivation of blooming flowers. So there we go. Today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 23, verses 23 through 26. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others, blind guides who, who strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup so that the outside also may be clean. All right, Jesus is getting after it today. Uh, woe to you, you know. So this is just one of the things that I love, um, especially in today's super tolerant, heavy culture of thinking that we can't say woe to people and say that they're wrong um, if it's not rooted in truth and goodness and beauty. Uh, the transcendentals, uh, which so much is not, but... Um, like we are called to be Christ-like, but it's important, uh, as Jesus is saying, that if we are going to go ahead and he is just ensuring that if we are going to be teachers of the faith, and if we are going to try to spread the gospel truth rooted in goodness, and that truth, and that beauty, that truly transcends people, that we must make sure that we are doing our own self-evaluation, our own self-reflection, and our own self-growth. And our own self-cleansing uh, before we kind of project that onto others. Um, because it's how easy is it for us to, to kind of attack or judge other people in their own life, in their decisions, in their demeanor, in their own decisions, uh, without truly looking upon ourselves first. Uh, that's why Jesus says that we cannot be blind to ourselves. Um, we must uh, cleanse first the inside of the cup so that the outside may also be clean. You know, if you think about it, in the analogy of a car, like if the outside's clean and stuff, it makes you feel good, but it more so like other people notice um, because it's from the outside and that's all that people can really see. Like they actually have to really go close to your car and peer through the window to see if it's clean or clean or dirty on the inside. Uh, but we are the ones that experience the inside. So I think what the challenge is from today's gospel is gospel is making sure that we clean out the inside of our car first. And that's where we reside. You know, that's more personal, that's more intimate with ourselves. And really having a clean inside of the car whenever I'm in it makes a lot more difference than having a dirty car on the outside because I can't even see that. Um, so yeah, clean out your car first and then maybe you can work on the outside. Have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.